Very simple. He's going to say his name, you guess his religion or his way of life. You ready? Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Marco. Croatia. Try. Oh, that's a, that's a nationality. Okay, Christian. Marco. Serbian. Marco. Marco sounds orthodox. Uh, Pravoslavac. Uh, guess again. So wait, first you said Serbian, Pravoslavac, orthodox. Yeah. Marco. Catholic. <laughs> he doesn't look like Hindu. No. <laughs> He's going to say his name, you guess his religion. Marco. Marco, Christianity. Marco. Uh, uh, Catholic. Marco. Mirza. Marco. Um, German. No. That's a nationality, so we're looking for a, a oh, religion. Sorry, uh, Marco, uh, Christian. Try again. Uh, Muslim. Congratulations, beautiful, yes. Muslim. Yeah, you surprised? Yes. Yeah, why? Because uh, I never saw, I never heard Marco in Muslim yeah. religion. So you know what Muslim means, right? Yes. One who submits to the will of God. What? One who submits, surrenders to God. Yeah. Right? He predose Bogu, he's Muslim. He accepted Muhammad as the last and final messenger. He accepted Islam. MashaAllah. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. No, Jewish? No. Muslim. Muslim. Uh, Allahu Akbar, you made it. Yes. It took a few attempts, but he got it. Yes. Try again. Muslim. Allahu Akbar. You got it on the second try. Good job. Good job, yeah. Yes. All right. It doesn't have to be. If you have like Croatian name, Serbian name, doesn't necessarily have to be that you're not, not uh, Christian or Orthodox. You can be Muslim, Serbian Muslim, Croatian Muslim. It's religion, it's not nationality. So it doesn't matter. Beautiful. Thank you. Alhamdulillah. Try again. Marco. Orthodox. <laughs> Try again. Pravoslavni uh, One more time. Greek. No. Keep going. Ma daj, pa ne znam više religija. Ne može biti Marko musliman. He's a Muslim. This is Marco the Muslim. <laughs> Yay. Because remember, remember, a Muslim is one who submits to the will of God. He submitted to the will of God and he became a Muslim. <laughs> yeah. Marco. Muslim. Allah, <laughs> he, he got it, <laughs> he got it, yes, okay, good job, you got it, you got it, because a Muslim is one who submits to the will of the creator of the heavens and earth, Allah, you got it, good job. I can, job. See, I can see it on his face, alhamdulillah. Yeah? yeah? How do you see it on his face? I don't know, I have a feeling, you know, yeah? you just feel it. <laughs> Try again. Um, Marco, uh, yeah, it could be Christian. So he got two. He, two. Do I have one more? One more. Okay, so atheist. What? <laughs> no religion? He's Muslim. He's Muslim. Mark. Allah. 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 We're Allah. dispelling the myths Allah. here. You see? And this is a great example. See, yes. Marco can be Muslim because a Muslim is one who submits to the will of the creator of the heavens and the earth. My name is Marco. Marco. But it's some version of Christianity. Let's try again. Muslim. Allah. <laughs> <laughs> he got it on the second try. Beautiful. My name is Marco. Yes. So I, uh, I understood the question that probably when he was walking with you, I know you, I watched your mission a lot of times. <laughs> Barakallahu feek. And, and I probably guess he's Muslim. Except Allahu Akbar, probably, yes. Probably because of the question, and I, like, you know, he was drawing with you. If we had a prize, we'd give it to you. You got it, but you already put it together. So. <laughs> My name is Marco. Uh, he's Muslim. He, got, he already knew, but thanks for participating. Because <laughs> you've seen him, you've seen him on TV. Uh, not on TV, but my friend knows him, so I, I followed him on Facebook and I, on, internet. Yeah. on internet as well. Yeah. Thank my, you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Keep, keep going. Yeah. How about Buddhist? Khrvat. Yes. Mr. Khrvat, yes. Religion. Religion, religion. Uh, Catholic. Catholic. You, you didn't try Hindu? He doesn't look like Hindu. No. <laughs> Keep going, you didn't get it right yet. Uh, I don't know. Keep going, how many? It's one of the, the, it's the, I'll give you a hint. It's the fast, which one? Jewish. Okay, not yet. 
I'm going to give you this. It was the religion of Jesus. It was the religion, the way of Moses. It was the way of Abraham. It's the way of, when I say the way uh, he submitted his will to God, right? Yeah, yeah. By definition, that is a, a Muslim. Muslim, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, Muslim. So, which one? Muslim. He's Muslim. Yeah. That's Marco I'm the... Muslim. I'm Muslim too. Yes. Yes. So Marco the Muslim. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. He says not. How to Prequel the system, really? So, Svaka čas. Svaka čas. No, that he doesn't look like a uh, Muslim. I'm, I mean, uh, by name, by name, by name. Yeah, my name is Larson, and, and, and I'm I'm Muslim too. Th thank you, thank you for thank you. I just wanted to 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 I I, I to meet you, just in that discussion. Thank, thank you, thank you. May Allah bless you. Salam alaikum. He's gonna say his name. You guess his religion. Marco. Marco. Should I say? Should I say the Christian or no? Whatever, you, whatever comes to mind from his name. Christian. No. Nope. Try again. Muslim. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Because a Muslim is one who submits to the will of the Creator. He could be Serbian. He could be Croatian. He could be Polish. He could be American. It transcends all the national nationalities. But good yes, try. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I, first of mine, it comes to my mind like Muslim. But I didn't want to tell it because I didn't want to discriminate yeah. the person. Mm -hmm. But you were afraid that I'll yeah. be offended. Yes. <laughs> oh, you were afraid you'd be offended if you said yes. Muslim from the from the start. Yes. Yeah. Because I want to be sure he is not Christian, then I can say Muslim. Yeah. Beautiful. This is very nice. So this is very uh, thoughtful, you know, to be. And this is a good example to to be, you know, to take care of the other people's feelings. Yeah. So that's nice of you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice Thank you. Salam alaikum. My name is Marco. You, you would presume. Yeah. What would you presume? Uh, usually, I would presume uh, he's uh, the you know Croat or Serb. But since I know that name doesn't determine somebody's uh, belonging, you know, I already know enough. You know, like so, I would guess maybe he could have been monotheist or Muslim. You know, like regardless of his name. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to show that Islam transcends the nationalism. Yeah. That you could be Serb and you could be Muslim, one who submits to the will of God. You could be Croatian like he is and you can submit your will to the Creator. That's what a Muslim yeah. is. Just like in Arab world, you have uh, Christians who have uh, Semitic Arabic names. And people are confused with that because it's a cultural thing, you know, many people don't know that. So in this particular case, it happened that I know him personally because I was interviewing him once also for my newspaper. Oh, you, you were interviewing him? Yeah. In, like 10 years ago or something like that, yeah, you know, yeah. I think. Like, so uh, based on that book uh, that he wrote, he promoted in uh, Sarajevo. And I was in journalism. I'm still is, just not so much as before. And I interviewed him because he wrote an interesting book. And then I saw your interview on YouTube with him. And then I found out that he <laughs> embraced Islam, you know, like, and then... But it already, I already knew that name is, does not determine somebody's uh, fate or belonging, which many people don't know. That basically in Islam, uh, you could be called in any name that belongs to any culture in the world as long as it doesn't have some bad meaning or, you know, meaning that is haram or anything like that, you know. Apart from that, could be any culture because Islam is universal, as we know, or as we should know, at least. So many people don't know, that's the thing, you know. Thank you for sharing that with us. Oh, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Let's do some takeaways. Uh, yeah. We had that uh, brother, he guessed everything except Muslim, and then he mixed nationality yes. with it. Yeah, he, he, he's a good example how we, we ask, you ask him, you know, uh, to guess the religion, and he instead automatically uh, said, not the religion, but nationality. He said, he's a Serb. He said, no, 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 religion. Ah. Then he's a Croat, you know. <laughs> no, he has, you have to repeat to, to him, no, uh, to put, uh, no. This is an example how this uh, uh, religion and uh, um, national identity, ethnic identity are uh, mixed and uh, confused. And uh, they, they, they are stuck together, but they shouldn't be stuck together. They're, they're separated things. Uh, we also talk to us about people when you and others have accepted Islam they automatically they start to associate you with being a Turk. Right, right. This is, uh, especially in these places, the usual uh, kind of uh, response, you know, now you accepted Islam, now you got to be Turk, you know, which is uh, absolute nonsense. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm still a Croat, and uh, uh, there are many famous Croat Muslims in, the, in history, and uh, but people just try to ignore you know they they stuck to this program you know if you are croat you must be catholic and uh, there's no other way around it and if, if you're serb then you are orthodox and uh, what was the name you name you named some uh, very uh, famous 
people who were Cro Croatian, they were Serbian, and they achieved a very high status in the Ottoman yes. Empire. Yes, there were plenty of, especially Croat, uh, Rustem Pasha Hrvat, this means Hrvat means Croat, uh, uh, Ibrahim Pasha Hrvat, and so on. There are uh, lots, of, lots of them who achieved the top position, the top position just be below the Sultan, the big vizier, and uh, they they ke they kept the, the, the title. Yeah. From Malaysia. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Good, good. I just saw you on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> well, ask you, I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna say his name. You guess his religion. You ready? All right. Okay. So, I'm gonna guess his I'm gonna say his name, and then you guess the religion. Ready? Okay. Yeah. My name is Marco. Assalamu alaikum. All right, oh. he's a Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Good job. All right. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. you too. Yes. Salam alaikum. So, so the point is, uh, <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, the point is, uh, this is the proof, historical proof, that is, they accepted Islam. There were high-ranking officials in the Ottoman Empire, and nobody forced them to give up their national identity. No. Uh, quite the contrary, they kept it in their title, and they were proud of it, and nobody, uh, kept, nobody uh, said that they cannot do it. So this is the proof that how things really are. Unfortunately, people are programmed the other way, the wrong way. And uh, this is not only the, uh, with, with this uh, religion and uh, ethnical identity. We will see how will they uh, react to this uh, uh, cover of the book. We we ha we had a, a unique situation. A man, I think, from from Malaysia. Right. But you can see it was a little bit different. He wasn't from the the right, uh, surrounding right. culture here, and he reacted different. Yes, yes, because this is it. Also, another. Said he, I said Marco, and he said Salam alaikum. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I responded, uh, alaikum salam, and so he 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 figured it out very easy. Yeah. yeah. He said peace be with you. Yeah. Yes. Yes, and uh, he wasn't bothered with this local program. You know, he, for him, name Marco, whatever, doesn't mean nothing. You know, so he's free of this, uh, you know, wrong perception.